So one, one in, a, important uh, episode um, in, the ve- in the development of uh, informatics in Hong Kong, and I, I suppose into, uh, an important episode for many people in Hong Kong, was, was the SARS uh, outbreak in 2003. Um, for, for the informatics point of view, um, the importance really was that we were able to, uh, in 2003 uh, to very quickly develop a, um, a sort of, call it a SARS, um, we call it eSARS, it was called eSARS, so it was a system to help um, manage, manage the outbreak. And it, it, was, it was a very simple system, uh, asking, you know, uh, frontline doctors to just uh, every day just mark the, you know, the status of their patients who, who may, who were suspected or definitely had SARS. Uh, but that information was able to flow through very quickly, um, you know, to, to our corporate uh, office. But then also we sent that data straight on to the, uh, to the Department of Health. Um, so the government had a very clear view and then uh, of how the epidemic was going and then the government would you know also inform the public uh, very quickly so we had a very rapid uh, system for um, sh- sharing information uh, you know of great importance to everybody um, and also uh, it really broke through some of the uh, institutional barriers to sharing information there um, so now since then we've we've been sharing um, you know um, all infectious disease uh, reporting is now all done electronically within the hospital authority and the Center for Health Protection receives it all electronically and there's going to be more of that sort of, you know, uh, departmental, uh, interdepartmental sharing uh, for, again, for better uh, management of health in Hong Kong. So, no, um, I suppose if you've had experience with, with healthcare, a lot of it's still quite paper-based, or, you know, um, and that's true all over the world now. Hospitals are still largely uh, based on paper records. Um, so, you know, one of the one of the the key uh, ideas in in e-health is how can we uh, move away from that paper world to an electronic world, and in doing so, really help uh, better healthcare. So, what we've seen in the hospital authority, because um, we, uh, ho- the hospital authority also, uh, when we started uh, in uh, you know back in 1990, uh, was largely was almost entirely paper based back then. And so we've had the experience of gradually building an electronic records infrastructure within the hospital authority and seeing how we can do it in a way that best supports, you know, clinical care uh, for our patients. Um, so what we've seen, you know, some of the, some of the key benefits, um, for instance, the, the, the most obvious one is that um, as you have all, the, you know, the, the entire health record um, electronic, um, that means that um, you, don't, you don't have the issue with, with not being able to find the paper record or if the paper record's in one place, you need it at another place, you can't get it. Um, now, one of, the, one of the key things uh, in healthcare has always been if, if you're an inpatient setting, uh, you have this thick inpatient file, but then if you go back and you know, maybe see a, a, um, a visit in the outpatient clinic, um, does that whole file get to the doctor in the outpatient clinic? Um, oftentimes it doesn't. But with the electronic record, there's no problem because it's all, it's all one electronic you know, system. Um, and that's something that actually the hospital authority has, has been very um, uh, insistent on is, is integration amongst all of our you know, settings. So just having the whole record there, very important. Of course, that record is now legible because it's, it's typed. Um, so there's none of that problem with you know, trying to read doctor's handwriting and making mistakes because you try and guess what, what was written. So, so legibility, I think, is actually uh, an overlooked but very important benefit. Um, you know, more advanced thing, uh, sorts of benefits I think we can talk about are, um, for instance, uh, we have a record of every patient's uh, drug allergies. So every time a, uh, a prescription is made for that patient, if one of those drugs uh, could clash with an allergy, the system will prompt. If two drugs the patient's uh, uh, already on or, or is being given, uh, will clash. The system will also warn the doctor. Um, so we call this sort of uh, behavior decision support, helping the doctors make decisions. Um, you know, we, we see other things, for instance, the uh, use of barcoding technology to make sure we're doing the right thing for the right patient. So as we draw blood, for instance, we scan the patient first and then we generate a label stick on the tube so we don't get the wrong tube for the wrong patient. So that sort of, that sort of thing has been very What important. we'll see, uh, I think, increasingly is, um, is more, shall we say, intelligent use of the data where the system will automatically uh, find things that it needs to uh, inform a doctor about or um, you know uh, tell them that oh there's something you need to look into that sort of thing so we have programs now for instance where we identify uh, elderly uh, patients who um, recently discharged who are at risk uh, because of clinical parameters we see in their record who are at risk of uh, you know maybe having to come back 
uh, with, with a problem. So uh, what's happening now is those patients are identified by the system and then uh, we have a nurse who rings the patient up at home uh, just to make sure they're okay. And, and that, we've already shown that that simple phone call actually makes a difference to how well the patient does um, after they've gone home. So we see, I think we'll see more and more of this, this the computer really supporting the activities of, of our clinicians. And um, that, that's essentially e-health is how do we do that? How can we make uh, the healthcare of everybody better through IT?